truth lies in propaganda. This is all just the tip of the iceberg. Let's have a look at some English newspapers. The Independent. <laughs> what a paradox for a name of a newspaper. Prince Andrew is already on trial, and it's not going well for him. No, he is not on trial. It is not going well for him, but he is not on trial. Never before has such a senior royal faced such a serious scandal, and stepping back from public duties will not be enough to make it go away. There are questions that need to be answered, and soon it won't only be the media asking. Well, you're not asking. You're spewing facts, which are lies. You're already stating. You're not asking, did he do this? What's his connection? How guilty is he? What proof do we have? Look at your headline. Prince Andrew is already on trial. You're not asking. You're stating this is lie and propaganda well it's not even propaganda <laughs> I mean, well anyway sales must be down let's carry on let's do further word analysis here if i can it's not going away is it no not if you idiots write headlines like this but anyway why should it go away let's see how it ends up in court if it ever goes to court the panorama interview the prince and the epstein scandal demonstrated just how much trouble prince andrew is in no it didn't he's not in any trouble He's not in any trouble as you and me were. He's in trouble because he's a royal figure. He's a public figure. Obviously, this hasn't gone down well, however you want to look at it, but not because of his side, because of the public political correctness and he was friends with Epstein and blah, blah, blah. Nothing has been proven up to now. So he's in much trouble. Okay, and will remain in for quite some time. Are you saying that it's, he's going to remain in trouble after they have a court hearing some way or the other and he's proved innocent of not raping anyone? Or he's going to be sent to the gallows and then your quite some time will come to an end. Virginia Dufresne, formerly Virginia Roberts, the woman at the center of the controversy, came across during her interview with Dara as a highly credible witness. Okay, well, do I come across as Einstein to you? Probably not. Oh, your honor, my friend here who is accused of robbing that bank really does come across as highly credible. He couldn't have possibly robbed the bank. Yeah, good luck in court. She had not been heard from at any length before and she is not going to shut up and go away. That matters. Of course it does. To whom? To keep the scandal going and for you guys to print shit. At times she found herself in tears, finding it so difficult to explain how a young woman in a civilized society could be trafficked for sex. This is not some story about a poor girl from a poor country being loaded into the back of a van, trekked across Europe, and smuggled over the English Channel, her passport confiscated and made to work in some filthy brothel. No, these young women, used and abused by Epstein, and there were dozens or more by the sounds of it. <laughs> Your Honor, by the sounds of it, my friend didn't rob the bank. Just saying, Your Honor, you know, by the sounds of it, you know, it sounds weird that the other witnesses are saying he robbed the bank, but by the sounds of it, you know, he seems a pretty credible guy, and by the sounds of it, I don't think he robbed the bank, Your Honour. What do you say to that? We're going to call it a day and go to the pub? Oh dear, oh dear. At this moment, a flash in my mind, when Donald Trump says fake news, ladies and gentlemen, this is fake news. Yet their plight was just as tawdy and distressing as any other sex slave. These astonishing wealthy and powerful people acted as her chains said Jufri. Her account of one of the three alleged sexual encounters she had with the prince were matter of fact, but still deeply painful. It didn't last very long, the whole entire procedure. It was disgusting. He wasn't mean or anything, but he got up and said, thanks, and walked out. I sat there in bed just horrified and ashamed and felt dirty. I had to get up and have a shower. So I have a question. I'm not stating that this woman is lying, but I have a question. If you end up with the prince in bed and he gets up and says thank you and walks away, what were you expecting? Were you expecting for royalty to fall in love with you? Or if he hadn't got up and said thanks, but if he'd given you a kiss and said he's madly in love with you and walked out, would you still be here today? Would you be married to him? Probably not. But this was just the first encounter. How come you had another two? Everybody has a shower after sex, so... I don't know if that's new to you, but or were you intending to walk around not having a shower for three days? Certainly she puts on a more convincing performance than Prince Andrew in his conversation with Emily Maitlis. Emily Maitlis is one of the most biased interviewers on English TV. Go look her up on YouTube. Watch any of her videos when she's not interviewing somebody from the left, somebody where there's a conflicting interview. Forget the interview and read the comments down below and click on newest first. That is Emily Maitlis. The Jufra interview interview was in fact recorded before that of Andrew. That's an unfair disadvantage, isn't it? Of course she doesn't mean necessarily that she's telling the truth. Oh God, that doesn't mean she's necessarily telling the truth, nor does it mean that he is. 
No, we don't know the facts. So if the accuser is not necessarily telling the truth, nor the accused is not necessarily telling the truth, who the fuck are you to judge in this article as if Andrew is already guilty? Complete rubbish. Oh, here we go. Hang on, we've got to carry on. But if these serious allegations ever come to trial, and if ever the Duke of York is required to give evidence or stand accused, then such perceptions matter. Um, Your Honour, my friend is credible, he sounds reliable, and my perception of the matter is that he didn't rob the bank. Coming for a beer, Your Honour? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Truth lies in propaganda and sometimes there is no propaganda, there is no truth. There is just lies and fantasy. And that is exactly where this scandal is heading. It takes a leap of imagination to envisage the Queen's second son being subjected to interrogation by the police or a lawyer in a courtroom. No, it doesn't. You've already written it down that he's going to end up in court doesn't take a leap of imagination. You've already jumped from theoretical possibilities to fact. It takes a still more radical thought process to see him in jail. Oh, we're going to be radical about somebody going to jail. Doing time. The scion of the House of Windsor. Yet no one is above the law. Members of the royal family do not enjoy immunity from the law on this or any other land. No, but they enjoy to be not convicted guilty before they are proved innocent. Excuse me, I'm not a lawyer, but at least that applies to the UK. Oh, here we go. Let's do some more word analysis here. There is a grim inevitability about what is happening. Grim according to who? Your opinion, Independent. Oh, God. Epstein may be dead, but his victims are not, and many of them are seeking justice. The cases are going through the courts. The women involved who have bravely come forward seem prepared to do what it takes, and their lawyers are supporting them. They do not appear to be fantasists. Here we go again. Oh, you're your Honour, my friend who is credible and he didn't rob the bank, he doesn't appear to be a robber. Come on, Your Honour, let's go for a beer. Depositions have already been taken and cases are being assembled. The FBI has been involved. The Metropolitan Police told Jufre that they would not investigate her claims about events in London. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Prince Andrew simply cannot isolate himself from these developments, no matter how much he tries and no matter how far back from a public role he places himself in the future. Giving up his pitch a palace project and other charity work and becoming a private citizen is not enough. What do you want to do? You want him to hang himself for something that he hasn't been proven guilty of doing yet? Prince himself has said via a statement that he is willing to help any appropriate law enforcement agency with their investigation if required. The Duke has already stated that he did not see, witness or suspect any behaviour of the sort that subsequently led to Jeffrey Epstein's arrest and conviction. He deplores the exploitation of any human being that would condone, participate in or encourage any such behaviour. And here we go. So even if we take him at his word, how about this applying to the people who are accusing him. You didn't write that there, did you? So even if we take them at their word, could apply to both, but no, this is one-sided, lopsided, bias. So even if we take him at his word, he will sooner or later have to undergo some questioning. Are you fucking kidding? More questioning in the eyes of the whole world public than this poor guy has had cannot be. It is yet another unprecedented moment in modern times for the House of Windsor. Oh yeah. <laughs> for now, Prince Andrew is indeed being placed on trial. Trial by media. You said it, mate. And it is not going very well for him. That matters because, as he acknowledges, albeit not fully, he has damaged the prestige of the monarchy as an institution. No, he hasn't acknowledged that. You invented that. You're saying that. Your opinion is that he has damaged the prestige of the royal family, and that is why the royal family, unfortunately, have put Prince Andrew into the background. There is an unspoken, unwritten contract between the people and the crown. Those who enjoy the privileges of their position must in return live up to their duties and responsibilities. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go on. But here we come to the crunch of it. So the real question will be how the monarchy deals with the denouement of his affair. Never before has such a senior member of the family faced such a serious scandal. Oh yeah, you forgot the days of the press, Princess Diana, you got a short memory mate, perhaps you weren't even born then. One day Prince Andrew may have to ask his mum for a pardon, as well as one from whoever happens to be in the White House at the time, possibly Epstein's old acquaintance Donald Trump. Right, well, Donald Trump said it right, this is fake 
news. We're jumping from Epstein to Prince Andrew, and Prince Andrew's going to have to ask the pardon to the Queen. He's been already sent to Coventry, but then the President of the White House is going to have to apologise for whatever Prince Andrew didn't do, and what has not yet been proven, even concerning Epstein. He didn't commit suicide. And finally, this article, this wanker here, I'm sorry, I don't use rude words, but Sean O'Grady, this journalistic wanker, finally says one sentence which resonates with truth. It sounds fanciful, but then the more we learn about the life of Epstein, the less strange such things seem. Yes, my friend, it is fanciful. Truth lies in propaganda. Shame on you, independent. Truth lies in propaganda.